I always like to think about what technology exists today and all the technical pieces are already in place that it's going to take six more years for people to figure out the social pieces uh, to do something really amazing, really interesting. And the areas I'm interested in are, would be things like um, uh, video production. And right now, if you think about you know, user-generated video online, it's mostly funny cat videos on YouTube. Uh, you know, it's a little bit more than that. But what we haven't seen yet is large-scale projects. There have been a few, uh, but they're still not, uh, you know, there's one 15-minute uh, short that I saw that was created by uh, the Blender Foundation, and it was 100 people worked on it as volunteers just for fun, and they made this Hollywood-quality animated film. I think in, in six years, we might see hundreds of similar things being done like that as the tools that people need to use to create things like that come together, but also the social understanding and the, and the friendships and, the, and knowing who, uh, you know, that you can do it. Um, so I think, I think there's still a long way to go in collaboration, and we've done the easy part, which is text. Editing text together is, is one of the easiest things to do. Sandy Pentland from uh, MIT Media Lab. I mean, what, what, what are your visions? Of where, where's the next, the next action on this? Well, um, probably most of a decade ago, we started looking at the digital breadcrumbs that we leave as we move around. So not text, but cell phone records, financial records, uh, all the little bits that we leave. And uh, what we found was that there were amazing things you could do with this. So Nathan was one of the early students in this effort. And what we found is you could do things like you could tell when somebody was suffering from depression. You could tell when somebody was at high risk of diabetes. You could do things like you could see indications of financial bubbles before they actually happened. So these are, are uh, things that I call honest signals. They're behavioral signatures that you get from looking at people's behaviors that tell us about things that are important. And, and using these, it looks like you can do things like you can really uh, revolutionize the health system because you can find things before they get bad enough to end up in a clinic. You can help the financial system by looking at dysfunctions before they happen. And probably in the developing world is where the biggest impact is because you can see when things are going wrong there. And recently, uh, a lot of the government agencies who are interested in stability around the world are beginning to use these techniques and we're helping them see you know, where is the governance breaking down before people pick up the AK-47s.